What's up guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is just a quick update. So recently I was trying to launch a whole new product on Amazon. This new product, there's nothing like it on the market. So on Amazon, I don't see anything like it on Amazon, but I'm sure you could find from other websites. Now, this is going to be my first time ever launching a whole new product line on Amazon that doesn't exist yet. Um, now, obviously, with anything, there's a huge amount of risk. Uh, the biggest risk being, well, the cost of a mold. If you guys are new to Amazon, you might not know what I'm talking about. So, for example, regardless of what kind of product you sell, like this uh, water bottle that I'm selling here, it requires some kind of mold for it to be made to mass produce it. Now, this product here, I was talking to a supplier just to kind of get an idea what's the cost of the mold and how much can I buy it for the uh, per unit. I contacted a couple suppliers. The first one gave me a feedback which blew my mind away, okay? He said the cost of the mold is $80,000. I'm like, there's no way a mold would cost that much, okay? I and mean, we're talking about only the mold. It doesn't include, you know, the unit price. So I'm like, I was really annoyed, right? I'm like, there's no way it costs that much. And we're not talking about buying a car, right? It makes sense for a car to be that much. So I'm like, okay, let's go with the next uh, supplier. So I reached out to the next supplier. Um, you won't believe it. This next supplier quoted me $123,000 for a mold. In my head, I'm like, how in the world does a product that's super simple to make costs $123,000 in mold. I mean, what is that mold made of? Like a gold? Because remember, normal, let's say like this cup, right? The mold for this cup should not be more than, let's say, I don't know, like a couple $2,000, maybe $500 or less. Because, you know, it doesn't have a lot of uh, different components. Yes, the product I'm trying to launch does have multiple components but nowhere close to $80,000 or $123,000. So I look um, into the detail report they keep sending me. I'm like, okay, why does it cost so much? And they keep telling me the material that they're trying to use and the type of mold makes it that expensive. Uh, anyway, long story short, I've been contacting like multiple suppliers. And also remember, okay, now in in Amazon, there's three different levels of releasing a new product. There's the entry level, which is, you know, you heard about all these YouTubers. They're like, well, if you just sell a cup that looks like this, just sell a thousand of them and you're going to be rich overnight. Bullshit, right? One, there's a lot of competition, zero entry to barrier. It's very small. You could ship it by error. So that means everybody's trying to pursue this product. Then there's a second category, which is products that are large something large, like maybe this table, right? Not everybody wanna, you know, release a new product selling a table that's that big, right? So it eliminates, let's say, more than 50% of the competition, but you're still left with another 50%. Then there's like C shipment delay, product delay, manufacturing it. Then the third category, which is the best, if that ever works out, you're gonna hit a golden mine okay you're gonna hit a golden mine and that is launching a whole new product that does not exist on amazon yet now the risk with that is the mold the unit cost and amazon suspending the heck out of you right remember amazon is irrational right we all know that i mean recently there was a huge facebook uh, group where multiple people got suspended and i believe the root cause of that was because they had uh, Amazon Germany, Amazon France account open there. Since those accounts were not being used, Amazon suspended like they always do. Instead of closing, they just suspend those accounts. Well, those accounts are linked to the one in the United States. So the whole thing got shut down. Anyway, Amazon fixed that after a couple of days. So what I'm trying to say is, I did not go with this product. I'm not paying $80,000 for a mold. It just doesn't make sense financially and the risk that I'm taking, right? And also remember, I don't have all of the market research. Yes, in Google, it does say there's like a lot of demand, but remember, Google or uh, keyword research, those are outside of Amazon. So the volumes are always two to three times larger. 
So what I'm trying to do is place an order for a sample, put it on Amazon, list it for as expensive as possible, just for me to get those data back. If the data does prove my initial theory of there's a demand, then maybe I might be able to invest a lot of money in it. But $80,000, not a chance for me. Give me something that's so cheap, or you know, we have to find out uh, a way to kind of do it by hand, or I don't care, hire a whole team if they have to do it. But $80,000, not a chance. Let me know guys, did the decision I made make sense? What would you have done in my case? Would you actually go with a whole new product, launch a whole new mold, knowing there's always a risk on Amazon side and the risk of, I guess, demand? Well, now I'm trying to verify there. Uh, do let me know. I know I rambled, but I'm curious to see your opinion on this. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.